Hi everyone, uh, this is a video about the question uh, which has been asked several times uh, about the consolidation uh, of the uh, items in the collection into a single string or single variable. So, for example, we have an order uh, and we would like to put into this order, uh, like we have apple juice, orange juice and mango juice. And we want to have a list of items uh, separated, for example, by comma. So I did a proof of concept uh, to make it work. So when I press sum it up button, uh, in a second you will see that I have the list of items which is stored as a string. And like for example for the other order uh, as well. So let's press sum it up. And uh, you see uh, there is a string of a uh, list of items. So uh, let me explain how this proof of concept works. Uh, to start with, uh, I have the collection which is called uh, orders. So this is an orders, in this orders collection, I store the uh, order itself. So, and this is order, this order item string is the uh, property where I store the result. And I have the, uh, each order should have the unique ID. This is quite important here. Uh, for the uh, order items, I have the separate collections, uh, the separate collection. And what's important here, uh, this is just for the uh, identification. I am storing uh, parent order ID uh, in a, this is a text format. So uh, this should be stored explicitly. Uh, and then uh, what's important here is the item name. Well, and maybe uh, the, of course, the relation to the order. So uh, in this uh, screen, I display the list of orders. And uh, as you understand, this is just a simple list. And in this uh, consolidate details uh, screen, uh, this is a list of order items uh, filtered by current order. And here I have the order ID, current order ID. And here I have the resulting string. So all the logic is done in IntegraMath. So I have the uh, IntegraMath consolidate string uh, custom action. Uh, it looks like uh, as the following. So this is the consolidate string, uh, the first screen uh, here. Uh, I have the hook which I, where I'm sending the JSON uh, with uh, order ID. And uh, uh, in body, uh, I'm sending this uh, this data so order order ID so uh, the logic itself is implemented in IntegraMath uh, let me show you the scenario so this is a four-step scenario I have a webhook and webhook response and here I have the uh, the other other modules the logic which represent the logic so uh, webhook is pretty simple so I'm listening to the webhook and the thing which I need to, to get is the uh, order ID so I Adalo passes this order uh, ID as a parameter for the custom action then I have the uh, list records module for Adalo integrament here's the thing uh, this is a proof of concept. Uh, of course, if you have uh, thousands of records, uh, this approach will not work because uh, there, there, is some, there could be some limit in, on list records. But for the uh, small collection, the, this should, uh, should be feasible. So I have list records uh, and I have set up the, uh, uh, this module in a way uh, that it lists the records of all order ID items. This is like the limit and this is the, all the result which I get and you you can see like apple juice, orange juice, mango, like all these all these records. They are returned as a bundles. So in order to work uh, with uh, with them, I need to consolidate them into the array. But uh, there is one important thing. I don't really need all the bundles. I need to filter out only those bundles uh, which are relative to the uh, current order. So uh, here I set up the filter. This filter is set up in a way that uh, parent order ID, you remember I just talk, talk, told you that there is a, a separate field in the collection. Uh, of course, I can do that by relationships, but the, this is a little bit more complex. So this is a straightforward way. Um, uh, so parent order ID equal to order. So equal to the data which has been uh, 
uh, got uh, by this scenario in a webhook. So uh, with this filter, I filter out only those uh, bundles which uh, are relevant to current order. So you see there are three bundles filtered. Uh, then I put the array aggregator module here. And uh, what I'm aggregating, I'm aggregating an item name. This is the only uh, thing which I need for this proof of concept. And uh, as a result, uh, instead of three bundles, I get an array of three with three entries. But this is not a, a simple array. This is complex array. So it's uh, I need to do some more preparation because before I uh, return the stream. So for the returning webhook, uh, the result returned uh, is uh, made with this uh, kind of uh, functions. So uh, let's discuss it. Uh, let's, uh, let me explain it inside out. So first I uh, do the map. So I get the primitive array uh, from the complex array. And what I need is to get the primitive array uh, of uh, this, the values of item name. So you uh, probably need to search for integral map tutorials to see how it works. Uh, there are some in the internet and videos as well. So this is a map and this, this item name should be the raw value. So uh, like I'm putting the value from this, uh, from this, uh, from here, from text. And after I get this uh, primitive array, uh, then I'm running join function on the result to create the, the it concatenate all the item into a string and I add the separator here. And uh, so this, this part, is the result which I'm going to, re uh, which I'm returning. And actually this is a, a part of JSON. So this is the JSON key and this join map and stuff is the value. So uh, when you try to replicate this, uh, it's easier to make it not uh, here like in a webhook directly, but maybe to do a separate step of, of creating the variable. So uh, this is how this scenario works. Uh, let me, for example, change this to, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like this. Uh, let me save and let me run it once again. So, for example, here, let's call it uh, We'll create another item for this uh, order. Mm. Okay, uh, I will reset the string. And you see this is the steak, burger and potato. potato. Let's sum it up. And you see uh, the format has been changed, that, but and I get the single string of all the items. And if I look at the collection of the orders, where is it? It's here. And you see that there is an order item stream consolidated. Uh, thank you. This is a proof of concept. Of course, there are lots of uh, things which are not addressed in this uh, video, but uh, at least I hope this is a good point to start to develop uh, further functionality. Thank you and see you soon.